Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Lovering Sisters, Watt Ellen Reed, Harbor Hospice Christmas concert. So glad you could be here. Um, and then he said I had to say a few things. I thought, oh, I can tell all these great things about Watt Ellen Reed. But you know, you guys probably don't like your football game interrupted. And so why should I interrupt your concert? There's some really neat stuff about us in the year, so read it. <laughs> but I will say one thing about Watt Allen Reed. There's a reason I work there. You have to love a company that puts the interest of the people around them up front. Now, I don't know how many of you uh, had an opportunity this summer to go to the Silver Sides Museum because we brought the World War I Traveling Museum here. And so we were able to help promote the Silver Sides. And I don't know how many of you had a chance to go to the LST movie night, but we sponsored that because we want to be part of the season. And we've had these concerts in the past. And we had uh, a lot of interest in it. And so uh, this year we were planning on doing another one. And one of our managers came to me and he said, you know, it would be really nice if we could find a charity to sponsor. Because we're doing this because we love Muskegon, and that's how we tell about what we are, and who, you know, what we do and who we are. But how about promoting one of the charities? I said, sure. He said, I'm not picking, you pick. So I went home and I asked my daughters, I said, who should we pick? And they said, is hospice a charity? I said, yes, they are. So I called and asked permission for us to promote them, which, by the way, they gleefully accepted. <laughs> and there is a reason that our family has a heart for hospice. is because my father-in-law, I don't know if any of you knew Les Moser, but that was my father-in-law, and he had Parkinson's, and he was quite ill, and the doctor said, well, it's time, you better call hospice in. And we did. And we were thinking we had three or four days with him. Well, they came in and he graduated. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what graduating is when you're in hospice, that's when you get better. <laughs> and because they came in and took such good care of him, he was able to do all his functions and they left. And we had them for six more months fully functional because of them. And we are so grateful. And that's why we're here. <laughs> and with that, I would like to uh, uh, introduce Marianne Gorman from Hospice. Marianne. Thank you, Dick Murray. Um, and welcome to all of you. Harbor Hospice is just absolutely thrilled um, to celebrate our 30th anniversary with this wonderful evening of song and music. We're certainly deeply grateful to Jerry Leffrin, to Waddell and Reed, and to the multi-talented Leffrin sisters. They're going to honor us tonight with this wonderful benefit concert. And we also want to recognize the generosity of many of our sponsors, including Sherman Louise Poppin, Bob Mills, who is with Life Circles Pace, Larry Hines at the Hines Corporation, Mike Danstra of CareLink Medical Equipment, our friends at M Live from Stephen Chronicle, Frank and Gina Lister of the Hearthstone and Lister Group, Mark Madison at Lamar Outdoor Advertising, Bob and Linda Johnson, and Shannon Enders and Associates at Lakeshore Employee Benefits. Many of you here tonight have also gifted Harbor Hospice. You've gifted us with your time, with your talent, and with your treasure. You are our volunteers, our board, our donors, and our staff. You are the visionary community leaders who found 
guided us, who have guided us, and who today help us keep faith with our mission. We're especially grateful to the over 10,000 patients and families that have entrusted their care to us. So tonight we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the gifts, the beautiful musical gifts of Jared, Jenna, and Jillian Lethry. Thank you all. And I am in my junior year of high school in Huntsville. 